slackline is an activity that derives from rock climbing. So a lot of the equipment that's used in slacklining is also used in rock climbing. And climbers found uh, a few decades ago that when they get bored, they can tension some webbing, as we call it, which is the same material used in seatbelts and automobiles, between two anchor points, they can tension it, and then they can walk across it. So slacklining is the sport of walking across a tensioned piece of webbing, similar to tightrope walking. Well, in basic slacklining, you don't particularly need any skills, really. You just start out by trying to balance in the line, and the line's generally relatively short, 40 feet or shorter. But as you advance and you go with progressively longer lines over 100 feet, it requires somewhat esoteric rigging knowledge that you can obtain through commercial rigging experience or through uh, rock climbing and getting with other slack liners. So, but specifically, you don't really require any skill other than being able to balance. And you kind of learn how to slack line as you go. You get progressively better. And, Unfortunately, very few people start out as good slack liners inherently. Usually everybody needs to practice to some degree. Uh, well, I wouldn't say I've mastered it yet, but when I first started out, I couldn't even stand on the line for five seconds. I'd stand up immediately and fall off. And it took me about 500 attempts over six months before I could even walk 40 feet or so. And then after that, it starts to get easier with time. I went from 40 feet to 250 in a few months thereafter. I would say it is mostly mental. Uh, there are some physical requirements in that slackliners generally have their arms up for extended period of, periods of time so your arms can get tired, but a lot of it's about being able to focus. So you have to focus tremendously. Uh, if you lose focus and you shift your center of gravity, it's really easy to fall off. So majority majority of it's mental.